Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Wii Sports for the Nintendo Wii. With a brand new Nintendo Switch Sports coming out in just a couple of days, I wanted to prepare by playing the classic, original Wii Sports. This was a pack and title with the Nintendo Wii, and because of that, is one of the most sold games ever, technically. So a lot of people have played this, a lot of people hold this near and dear to their hearts, because it is a lot of people's first experience with the Nintendo Wii, one of Nintendo's most successful consoles. So I'm definitely excited to play through each of the sports throughout the series. I'm not very good at this game, so please don't expect me to be breaking any records, but I figured it'd be a fun thing to sort of walk through before we get into Nintendo Switch Sports next week. So with that being said, let's get started with Wii Sports. So here we are on the main menu. Now with Wii Sports, we have five sports to choose from, tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. We also have two other modes, training and Wii Fitness. For this, we're gonna be starting with one sport at a time. We'll do the main sport, we'll check it out, we'll do the training for it, and that'll sort of be its own episode. So of course, we'll be starting with the first sport here, which is tennis. Now this is probably one of my favorites out of the bunch. We'll just be playing single player, but as you can see, you can choose our different means here, or I can choose one from the console, which it says that I haven't created one, even though I have one. So I'm gonna go and get that set up real quick and we should be good to go. Okay, so it's not exactly how my me has been in other consoles, but for whatever reason, it didn't have the same eyes as I had. I don't think it matters very much, but there we go. I have my me set up. And for this stuff, actually, I do need to change some things because, of course, I am a lefty. So I will just put that all there for now. I don't, I don't think we'll have to worry about it after that. Add a zebra to your player list. If you erase this me from the me channel, it will be deleted from your player list. So be careful. I don't plan on deleting it, so we should be good to go. Let's get started with tennis. So, of course, with a motion control game, you do have to be careful about safety. Make sure there are no people or objects around you that might bump into you while playing. Uh, starting the game. Hold the Wii remote securely in your hand and press A and B. The aesthetic for this game is so unique in a way. It feels like a tech demo in a way. But here we are. We can swing the Wii remote around and we can play some tennis. So it is um, a typical two versus two format. I can do this so that I have a random computer or I could even make it so that I have one on the opposite team. We're gonna keep it two versus two like this and do a single game to start. We'll check out everything, but just sort of wanted to get a taste for everything. We're going against Matt and Miu, who are higher levels than we are. We don't have a level. But yeah, let's get started. So of course, tennis starts with a serve and our goal is just to hit the ball back. They send it back to us and then we send it right back to them. And I actually play this game, if you're not familiar, I actually am s s not spinning. <laughs> I'm swinging the... Uh, Oh gosh, oh no, oh. <laughs> 15. Okay, so I knocked that one out, not quite what we wanted, but I'm actually swinging the Wii remote to swing the, the rocket. And our goal, of course, is to swing it past them. Oh boy, right there. Oh, they couldn't quite get it. If the ball bounces twice, that means it's our point, and one point is 15. It, it's sort of weird how the point system works, but you'll sort of get the hang of it as we play. Of course, if you've seen us play other tennis games like Mario Tennis Aces, you'll sort of get the idea pretty quick. Because it's just right go tennis. I swung a little late that time, and as you can see, it sort of flew out to the side because of that. But yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just tennis, but when this game came out, oh no, I'm really not good at it. But when this game came out, what was it, back in 2006, I believe? This was just such a different concept. Games didn't have motion controls very much, or at least most games didn't. So this was such a new and futuristic concept at the time. It's hard to imagine now, but we almost got them there. So I'm controlling both characters at once, you can see. So when I swing, both of them, which is sort of silly to see them flop back and forth, but Oh, wait, ah, oh, darn, made the same mistake. Okay, so this is important to explain, is that we were both tied in points there, which means we met at a deuce, which means whoever scores on the other person twice in a row wins. So they had the advantage, but then I scored back, so we're back to a tie. So at this point, nobody can win 
unless somebody scores two points in a row. So now I have the advantage. I need to score one more or to go back to a deuce. So let's hope we can get that score. There we go, that was good, but not quite good enough. I'm gonna let that one bounce once and then smack it long distance and that seemed to work. We win our first game of Wii Sports status. I think we're ready for the pro leagues. There's like three people in the crowd, but I hope they enjoyed it. We win! Awesome. So there we go, there's our first round of Wii Sports action. After you do complete a game, you get a skill level change. So for this one, we gained 40 points. We had zero before, so now we just have 40 in total. But we're going to go ahead and quit. Actually, no, I think I can play again. And it will give me the option to choose. Yeah, okay, so we did a single game that time. I wanna do a best of three this time. Going against the same characters, they're out for revenge. They wanna get a win this time. We'll see if we let them. But of course, as we get better, the difficulty will go up and up, making it harder and harder to win. I think you can get all the way up the pro difficulty, which is not anything I'm super interested in. Look at the cool replay, nice. Uh, I'm not super interested in getting to max level in this game. This isn't gonna be a com comprehensive series, but more of just a window into what Wii Sports was because it's a simple game that has a lot of replayability, right? Very simple concept of just being able to play the sport with the motion controls. But this is something that I know that myself and my family, or my family and I, would play for hours together by ourselves just because it was such a neat concept at the time. It was super approachable. Anybody could really get the idea. As long as you could swing the Wiimote, you could play. So that's what made it so interesting and why it was so different for Nintendo and why I think it's worth showcasing before you know Nintendo Switch Sports comes out to sort of see you know what what is the excitement behind Nintendo Switch Sports. Because I know a lot of you may be younger, you might not even have played Wii Sports before. I'd love to hear, have you played Wii Sports? Oh, look at the super serve. Couldn't even smack it back. So I think with that, I just had good timing. Good timing, hit it at the apex of the height, and that sent it flying forward. So, oh, we won already. But this is a best of three. So just because we won one doesn't mean we're quite done yet. All right, let's start again. Oh, so now they get the serve. So we'll be returning a serve this time, so I won't be able to practice my serves too much. All right, got it. And we are just focusing on this for now. You can tell this is something that's sort of unspoken about the game. There's a lot of little details like this in Wii Sports, but as we get higher in skill points, the more people will start to appear in the crowd, which is pretty neat. And a lot of the Miis that you end up seeing in this game will be Miis that you created because Miis sort of got introduced with the Wii. So yeah, now I'm playing this on, oh gosh, that one didn't quite work. A Wii that didn't have any custom Miis except for my current one, the Zebra one. So unfortunately we won't really see much of that, but yeah, if you made custom Wiis either of your friends and family or of just different characters and such, you could see those, ah oh, no, not quite good. So right now, they have a, a bit of an advantage on us. And one thing I can do is point the Wii Remote left or right, and it does sort of guide a little bit where they're standing, but mostly the characters will move on their own. But there is not really any buttons being pressed here. I can just swing the remote, uh, and that'll uh, count as a swing. Okay, so this one is quite the volley at the moment. I'm trying to get the other me over there. Oh, there you go, there you go. It's gonna ch change things up a little bit, but they are still really fighting this one. There we go, come on, that went pretty far, but they got it, but not that one. We sliced it in between them. All right, so they're serving again. Ah, oh, but I swung a little too soon. I got a little excited. <laughs> I will say it was quite the event trying to set this up because obviously, you know, recording a game and playing it on its own are two very different things. To be able to set up playing this while also having a microphone in front of me was not easy. And on top of that, swinging a Wiimote with hooves, not, not the easiest deal. Okay, this is game point. If they score this, it's over for us. So let's really try to, try to swing to the, Right there. That's okay. I swung to the right, but it still took a. That was so weird. Huh. Okay. That's fine. It's a best of three. So they took one, we took one. It's 
the final one. We get the serve again. Oh, and we get that super serve. I need to practice that for sure. And we'll be doing some practicing later in today's episode. We'll be checking out the training for tennis because each sport has a little training sections where you can play a little, I guess, mini games to improve. I was trying to be sneaky with that one. Okay, come on. Not quite enough, but that might be. Ooh. So far there, the person in the front really hasn't been doing much. Okay, that was a good one though, but they will be able to get it back. But on that second bounce, they couldn't quite return that one. This could be our chance. And I got the super serve again. Awesome. So improving that serve can make for a huge difference, as you can see. But there we go. We want in our best of three battle, but things are just gonna get more difficult from here, of course. We're at 118 extra points there, so obviously when we play these best of threes where there's more games involved, you get more points for it, and I think that defeating other people with higher skill points will also raise our skill points a bit more too. So we're gonna play again one more time, this time, I wanted to mix it up a little bit just so we're not doing the same thing over and over. Let's make it so that we have just another me helping us out as we go into a best of five. So we have Ren, and then we have two other people. I didn't get to quite read their names. Uh, Lucia and Shinosuke, I think. Sorry if I mispronounced any of them. I promise it wasn't intentional. All right, so yeah, we have somebody up front who's going to hopefully help and know when to swing and make some good moves because of that. Because sometimes it's good to be in control, you know, but I also just want to see what it's like when the, we have a me on our team. And I'm not quite sure if there's a way to just do one versus one. From what I've seen, there really isn't. It has to be two versus two, which is sort of a shame because, you know, doubles and singles tennis are both interesting. But maybe I am missing something. I'm not quite sure. I'll try to make sure before the end of today's episode that we play some singles tennis one way or another because there is... At least, you know, some training stuff can do that as an individual person. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get my good serve there. But so far, 30 love. 30 love basically, or 30 all, right? Or is it 30 love? I'm not sure. Gonna send that back. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, 40 love basically means that we have points and they don't have any. Game point. Oh man, that super serve. They were actually able to return it this time now. Gonna send that one back. I was hoping Ren would hit that one. There's no real way I can tell Ren to go for it. We just gotta be ready for it. Cause sometimes as you can see, they don't touch it very much and then other times they'll totally be like a little ball hog and just constantly. Oh no, I really think Ren should have returned that one. But hey, that's sort of about being on a team and they couldn't return the super serve so we win that first game. We need to win two more to win the whole thing though. But hey, it's heating up. So now they get the serve. Lucia is sending it in. I will return it. Now, yep, that one is definitely on me. Ooh, okay, Ren's getting in there. You got it, Ren. Oh, good job, buddy. So as you can see, as it currently stands, we are leading the packet. Oh, we're in the front this time. So I guess when it comes to maybe re returning the serve, who's in front and who's in the back maybe alternates. And I might also be a bit of a ball hog. I know I was just criticizing, right? Oh, okay, that one almost hit the other person in front. Okay, now it's up to Ren. Because I can only stay in the front two squares here. I can't back up too much. Oh, that was the second bounce. So Ren couldn't quite return that one. So sorry. But now I'm in the back again. Which I feel like a bit more of my comfort zone is back here. We spent more time back here than up there. I know. I don't know if I should have returned that or not. That was a little bit of a weird one. Ren got a little confused there too. Let's look at the replay for that. It hits the net. Ren struggles, but I go in for the save. And that was good enough. I think we were all confused. There are all four of us. Like, what, what do we do in this situation? Okay. Right now there's, oh, there we go. Oh man, I almost hit it out that time. Gotta be careful. 
trying to, and I don't know if there's any extra buttons to press. I really don't think so. Pressing buttons like affecting server or anything. Almost got that one. Because obviously, you know, we, we've seen with Mario Tennis Aces, there can sometimes be more specific controls for certain types of return shots. Either they be curved or spiked. But you just, I'm sure there's certain motions that might suggest that, but it was still overall pretty primitive motion controls. But, oh man, we almost got that one. Come on, Ren, send it flying. Oh, Geez, they are not lining up. This one's intense. But you can tell that Shinosuke, I think, in the front here, has little beads of sweat coming down. They're spending all their energy. I guess there might be some kind of stamina. Jeez, this is, won't stop. Oh, and Ren's also starting to sweat. So this is maybe gonna be up to us soon. Come on. I do think that like when Ren is in that back corner, we need to stay in this little square. My gosh, this is the most intense round of tennis I've ever experienced. Okay, I'm gonna let Ren have that one. Yeah, Ren did not hit that back very hard. Lucia is not letting up. They are trying to make extra sure that we do not win, but I wanna win. This just won't end. What do I do? <laughs> Come on, oh! The lob there, that was crazy. Oh, but they hit it out. That's gonna be some points for us. Break point. Break point, come on. I think break point means that we take a break after. I don't know, actually. But there we go, we won either way. Whew, that was a workout. And this is definitely when uh, Nintendo realized, you know what, they can make software that in encourages, wow, the super serve from Ren that encourages players to stay healthier and to be more active. But there we go, we get our first point here for the third round, which it looks like, you know, we're set up to win at this point. So I wonder if we'll be able to serve it all or we'll all be run this time. Cause I like serving, it's probably my favorite part. Okay, I'll hit it back one more time. And if this one doesn't work out, we'll let Ren get this one. Come on. Ooh. Not too bad. Okay, that one I think uh, they, they, they swung too soon or something like that. Or too late, yeah, unfortunate, but works out well for us. I'm trying to send it back real late, hoping that they won't expect me to hit it back. Okay, I can't quite reach that. Sometimes it might just be better to swing like crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, couldn't quite reach that one. Ah, oh, no. 30, okay, so. Ren missed that shot, but that's okay. It's gonna happen occasionally. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I was waiting for that opportunity. So we need one more point. If we win this, we don't just win this match, but the entire set. Match point. All right, go for it, run the super serve. It's gonna send them packing. But we need more. Let's hope it's not a f another forever volley. See, I would like to hit it to the left there like that. Okay, that time it actually worked for me. Very nice, so with that, we won our best of five in tennis. Looking good, so we, there we go. Our introduction to Wii Sports so far with flying colors, we win again. Now there are definitely some other sports I'm not so good at, so don't expect this kind of constant victory each time, but we're gonna finish it off with 212 points. As you can see though, if we wanted to get to the pro level, we would need a thousand. So like, it would uh, of course, as time goes on, get more difficult and just take more time to do, but still pretty cool, pretty fun. Okay, so we're back on the main menu. I did check, there is no way to play one-on-one -on -one tennis, which is weird because I feel like I remember that, but there is no way. Either way, we're gonna go into training here where we have some different things. We're gonna go single player, of course, uh, with army. Why not take a break? Maybe a little bit. You can pause the game by pressing plus. But as you can see, there are training sections for each sport. We're gonna be doing tennis today, so the three for tennis, 
We're starting with this one, which is returning balls. Return the ball inside the court, just relax and focus on hitting the ball. Now these are typically records you can reach and things like that. We're not gonna be worrying about them too much. We're mostly just focused on playing the game and having fun with it. This is pretty cool that we're in this nice outside court. Start. Okay, and we're just getting the swinging. Oh my. Oh, I missed that one. Finished, okay. Oh, I see, so if I miss just one, we're done. <laughs> well, let's try that again, huh? <laughs> but maybe not my best possible score. Our record is one point. Let's go for two, huh? Double our previous score. All right. Oh, and I missed. I really did just get two points. It's going a lot slower than I'm used to. You beat the high score. Wow, two points. New record. I promise I'm not goofing around. It's, I'm just goofy is all. But it's not intentional. Got it. So I don't want to send it off the court either. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not pointing it at there, there correctly because I'm going to get through one point at a time. Oh man. Okay, so I think I figured it out a little bit. I had to sort of reset up everything because it was sort of, oh no, and then I did it again, huh? It's just every once in a while, a swing won't go through quite all the way. And like I said, it's obviously just because of my setup just not being perfect. And some of this technology is rather old. You know, this uh, Wii Motion bar and the controller are over 10 years old, over 15 years old now. Wow, okay, showing my age a little bit. <laughs> um, so I'm sure that might also have some issues with that. And beyond that, even if those things are working correctly. Ah, oh, but see, that's what I've been worried about. I, that's why I've been trying to be careful with my shots and they fly by me. But because of that, on top of everything, I'm also just not very skilled at motion control kind of things, but they can be fun. I've never been a fan of games that sort of implement motion controls where they aren't needed, which unfortunately was a thing that was very common during this time for Nintendo, gosh darn. Okay, I think we're gonna move to the next challenge. But when it's a game that's totally focused, like the whole premise of Wii Sports is motion controls, that's where it can be really neat and really fun. But hey, for participating in that challenge, I won't say completing, but participating, we'll get the next training challenge, timing your swing. Return the ball into the orange bar. Watch your timing and aim each shot carefully. Okay, so this one definitely requires a bit more aiming, but the idea is that you can keep practicing these, go for higher scores, and as you do that, you'll get a higher feel or a better feel for certain techniques and movements you might have to do to play the game more efficiently and get to the pro status, and I missed. <laughs> Maybe a little less talking, a little more swinging would help. Okay, let's go for it. All right, this is the one. We're gonna become a tennis master. Okay, I think that'll get in. Nope, it missed. See, that's where it's so tricky. Even if I try to swing to the right, it, it's so odd, because I, I would love to just hit it so that it's obviously not one-to-one -one motion controls in that way that's gonna fly all the way to the right. How would I even, I'm not even really sure how that would even hit it. Maybe if I do an overhand swing instead of more of like a side or underhand. I know for me it's under hoof and over hoof, but you know, using more of the terms than the actual specifics. No, that that made it well, way worse, way worse. <laughs> I'm not sure how to get the ball through there. Ah, okay. So I think also, not just focusing on the swing, but the timing as well. See, now I got it, now I understand. So, I think the best way to sort of keep track of that is to pay attention to the shadow of the ball, and that one might miss. Ah, oh, unfortunately it does. But the later I swing, the more it's going to veer to the left. If I'm swinging from the left you to the right, the high score. I definitely understand a little bit more how this one works. So, we're gonna try that again, see if I can get a better score than five. But this one, of course, is about the type of swing you use, sure, but it's also about timing. So if we can keep a good timing, we can hit it straight down the center. We hit it a little late, it'll even go, oh no, that one's gonna miss again. Ah, darn. You never know when it's gonna move like that. But if we even make it even later, it might veer to the left a little. So let's go for, give it one more go. Let's see if we can't get a nice score of 10. I would really like to hit 10. 
Okay, that one was a little... Okay, let's start over. Let's start, I already know that one's out there. One good try to get 10. Okay, here we go. There we go, you can see now that I'm hitting it later. And that one I don't want to hit too late. There we go, there we go. Oh, I think that one is gonna make it, but just barely. Now that one I'm a little concerned about, but that's where it gets tricky, you don't know when it's gonna move, so it's always good, of course, to aim for the center of the thing. But as time goes on, we hit 10. It's gonna get smaller and smaller, so that concept does get a bit more challenging. So where you want the ball to go might be less about your swing, all darn, and more about timing. So there we go, from doing the training, I've already learned something you really important. Bronze medal. We earned a bronze medal. Now I think that goes all the way up to probably platinum for medals. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Because I just, I know that with this current setup and my current skills at the game, who knows how long that would take. But instead, we'll try our last training mission here, the target practice. Volley the ball off the wall and hit the targets. Controlling your swing speed and strength is essential in aiming your shots. So let's go for it. This one is probably, if I had to guess, the most difficult one yet. So we'll see if that's the case. It certainly looks like it's gonna be tricky. So there we go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, but a little too hard on that one. Oh, and that's the second bounce, so I already failed. But I guess you can bounce it off the wall once, maybe? At the least, it definitely let us bounce off the wall there and it wasn't failing us just yet. Okay, so we got that one dead center and I swung and it just didn't go through that time. It is weird how there's a giant brick wall in the middle of the tennis court now. Interesting, interesting. I guess it's more of a tiled wall. Ah, oh, darn, whoa. Come on, got it. So I guess we get to bounce off the wall as many times as we need. It's more so about the fact that we can't let bounce a second time. It even made it out of the, the, the court there and it's fine. But technically a new high score, if we could get bronze, I'd be pretty pleased with that. All right, that wasn't so bad. Nice. Oh my, come on. Let's move it back. Ah, oh, darn. All right, it's fine. Three points again. I'm getting the idea though. Slowly but surely, this is the one. Once again, I wanna go aim for 10 points. Feels like a lot compared to where we're at right now. But I think we could do it. Oh no, <laughs> apparently not. Okay, so I've been fighting this one for a little bit now and I'm not really getting anywhere. So I'm gonna give it one more go right here and we'll see how it works out. Ah, uh, see that one's a little too high. This is where things start to fall apart because I can't seem to quite control, no matter how much I specifically put an effort into it, the speed, it either is too fast or too slow. So I wanna swing really early. Got it. Really trying to give this my best effort. Got it. Because I find myself wanting to swing very lightly. Ooh, no, I couldn't reach it in time. I try to swing very lightly to get a nice light hit, but it just doesn't register the hit. Either way, we get that bronze medal, so I'm happy with that. A bronze medal is a pretty good thing to earn. So there we go. We played all the bonus tennis training missions. Pretty cool. See, that was target practice, timing your swing, and returning balls. So that's sort of the main concept of this game. You play the sports, you do the training, you have fun, and it's a great, simple time. I think that's the big charm about this game is how simple it is. So definitely, we'll be playing some of the other sports soon. Next episode will be baseball. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Wii Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.